increase the amount of officers with the LAPD. City Council approved it with a vote of 13 to 1, and this is the first time that the budget has topped $13 billion, which is an 11 percent increase from the last fiscal year. It also includes $566 million in a reserve fund. The budget includes $1.3 billion to address housing and homelessness. $250 million will go to the mayor's Inside Safe program, which would pay for motel and other interim housing costs. Funds would also go to development of transition and permanent housing and to start a 12-month rental assistance program. About $3.2 billion would be used for the LAPD, which includes increasing staffing to a minimum of, of 9,500 officers with two full classes of recruits and training and funding to return retired officers to active duty for a year. Additional civilian personnel would be hired along with more staffing for 911 dispatch services. There would also be an incentive program which would provide bonuses of up to 15,000 for new officers and lateral recruitment. Other places funds will go include nearly $4 million to the after school enrichment program LA's Best, $5 million to child care centers. The budget also looks to enhance tourism and support small and local businesses. Los Angeles Animal Services will get an increase in funding which will help with adoptions and hiring more staff among other things. The city council vote now directs a budget resolution to be drafted. Now back here live next week city council will vote on that resolution and then the mayor has five days to sign the back the sign the past budget. Reporting live here in downtown I'm Aaron Myers. I'll send it back to you in the studio. Aaron, thank you. New details this morning on the health of California Senator Dianne Feinstein. The 89 year old Feinstein continues to have symptoms related to shingles. She was admitted to the hospital after being diagnosed with shingles in late February. She can covered at home in San Francisco. syndrome, which can cause facial paralysis. It is a rare neurological disorder. The 2024 Tacoma has a few different versions, including a rugged off-road model. The base trim has a four-cylinder engine that puts out 228 horsepower. Upper trim levels will basically have the same engine, but it's tuned to pr produce 278 horses. There's also a hybrid engine, which Toyota says is designed for hauling power. Prices have not been officially revealed, but uh, can be expected to run between thirty and fifty thousand dollars. Well, something will be different about your next Starbucks iced coffee. Starbucks is downsizing when it comes to the ice used in its drinks. Ice lattes will soon be served over smaller nuggets of ice instead of larger cubes. The decision is getting a cool reception from those who say the smaller ice could water down drinks too quickly. Starbucks says the ice nuggets will require less water to make. The uh, force is not strong with this one. After a little more than a year, Disney is pulling the plug on its Star Wars themed hotel at Disney World in Florida. The Galactic Cruiser will make its final voyage in late September. It was a two night immersive experience that put visitors right into Star Wars, a Star Wars setting with a hotel serving as a spaceship. But at six thousand dollars for two nights, the experience may have been a little bit too costly, even for the biggest Star Wars fans. Uh, yeah, I'll bet six thousand for two nights. Um, <laughs> a little up there. Yeah, a little up That's there. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah, but uh, people will pay it. Some people.